in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my insane Adopt Me inventory. Don't forget, if you guys would like your own free pet of Adopt Me, make sure to leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment down your Roblox username. Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to Adopt Me. Yes, we might be missing the face cam today. I might have had a little bit too much Starbucks, but that's okay, you guys, because we are going to be going through my inventory today. Yes, I know you guys must be super excited to check this out. I haven't done one of these in a while. We're also simultaneously going to be taking care of Jack because I'm trying to make him a full-grown No Potion Bat Dragon or Neon No Potion Bat Dragon. So he's going to be hanging out with us today. All right, so you guys know the drill. The gifts are first. We always start from the bottom and work our way all the way up to the pet. So the only cool gift that I really have is this one monkey box. And then, you know, I just have all the gifts, like the small gift, the big gift, and the massive gift. And I actually thought that we would open like one of each of the ones that I have extra of so we're gonna open a small and oh okay and we found the flying disc there we go jack can go get that and then let's open this big gift i only have one. Oh, where did it go what is it did it hatch or open oh yep it's the same thing or did he just bring that back to me okay i don't know why that didn't work but we're gonna open this big gift now and it's a oh it's the cat balloon i actually really think that this thing is cute all right let's open a massive gift and see if we can get the flower pot <gasps> oh no i saw a plant and i thought it meant like plant flower okay ignore my gas all the things i had to get all right so we opened one of each of those i'll even open an ox box you guys and you guys know i don't even like these but i will open it oh i forgot that's how it opens okay it's spinning it's opening and it's a normal ox okay yeah not as exciting and then we're gonna open the bat box but i am not gonna open the monkey box you guys because i only do have one but yeah i will open a bat box for us because i love these so much i miss them and oh we got a normal bat my favorite aren't they just so adorable probably the cutest pet adopted me has ever created okay jack totally didn't hear me say that look how cute he looks at night he's the cutest so yeah those are the gifts i don't have anything too special i don't have like a wrap box or like a golden christmas gift or even a normal christmas gift i wish i had those but i don't but let's move on to toys we're gonna start from the bottom so i think i did end up getting every single toy from the new gift rotation um yeah so we got the venus flytrap rattle honestly guys i'm just gonna stop at things that i think are interesting so i have this sock chew toy i've actually recently been trying to complete my toy collection this is the collection that I think will be hardest to complete because there's just so many toys. I do not know how I'm going to complete this. The only thing I did definitely complete was the legendaries because there's only four items, so those were kind of easy to get. But I do need, like, a lot of other stuff. But anyways, let's just go back to what I do have. So, yeah, so we're scrolling up. I don't really see anything interesting. If you guys see something interesting, let me know. Ooh, one of my favorite plushies is actually the zombie buffalo plush because I like the zombie buffaloes. It looks just like the pet. Isn't that so crazy? And then we also have the same thing, turkey plush, which looks just like the turkey plush pet so crazy all right we're gonna keep going up um i have a rainbow wand i actually think the rainbow wands are cool just because you know you can like swing them like you're i don't know a wizard or something all right let's keep scrolling up again nothing crazy um i have been trying to complete this collection so if i see random toys i might not even know what they are i think it's cool that i have both the new 50 and v think rattle the chinese lantern is one of my favorite toys that i think is super underappreciated because look this is what i'm gonna do sorry guys i just think it's fun if you do that because then look it like spirals and like spins like that when it goes up in the air you guys see that whatever i think it's cool all right let's keep scrolling up scrolling up Ooh, the tombstone you guys know how i feel about the tombstone guys tell me if you could see me right now anyways we're gonna take the tombstone back off um that's seriously one of my favorites um we have a teddy skelly which is supposed to be like a rare old toy but honestly i may love halloween but even this thing is creepy to me we're gonna keep scrolling up we have the headless pumpkin i did trade for another one of these but i gave it to fishy this item isn't as popular as the tombstone that makes you full invisible but this makes your head invisible and honestly i just think it's a really cool looking jack-o-lantern which if you guys didn't know that's why his name is jack for jack-o-lantern oh my god he still has the sock chew toy he's just waiting there jack is so cute we stand jack all right so let's just keep going through the inventory um i do have a couple scroll ingredients you know for like the ninja monkey that's kind of a rare item you know magic house door it's a robux item. i have some robux items here and then as we get to the top these are the four legendary toys in adopt me the first one is the monkey staff ingredient which as you know i wonder what this does as you guys know this would help you make the king monkey the flying broomstick i can't show you guys but i've showed you before it makes you fly at nighttime only see the flying broomstick's magic only works at night but it makes you fly around and then of course we have the candy cannon which is my favorite toy in adopt me other than like the headless pumpkin and the tombstone and then as you guys know the bees blaster kind of devalued the candy cannon a little bit because it literally does the same thing it gives you honey candy which does the same thing as candy corn so this thing literally does the same thing that a candy cannon does i kind of wish that they didn't do that i wish that it did something else than make you fast when you eat it just like the candy 
acorn does, which used to be lollipops, but they got rid of them. That was just a whole mess when this thing came out. But anyways, let's move on to vehicles. So my vehicle collection is actually not as impressive as Fishy's. I have been working on it. I do have this one neon snowboard. Oh god, I crashed. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm not the best driver in Adopt Me, but you know, I never said that I was. What do we got going on? We got some clown unicycles. We have the speedboat, which is, you know, right here. You could get a speedboat right now if you wanted. The rocket skates. Anytime you guys see roller skates, I'm not a huge fan. We have a duck scooter, emoji scooter. I'm just, oh yeah, the neon scooters. I actually think these are cool because they leave like a little trail. Like this is so cool. Show you guys the green one too. Yeah, so it just leaves like a little neon trail. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot drive these things. Oh, forget it. Anyways, we're gonna go back to Jack because he's waiting over there so patiently for us. Look at him, he's such a good boy. All right, I have a neon black skateboard as well. Isn't this supposed to be like rare or something? I don't know. Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, so we're gonna keep scrolling. Um, I have a ghost vehicle, which is one of the rarest cars in Adopt Me, this ghost vehicle. And like, I actually kind of wish that this was a pet. Like that is a cute vehicle. I want to like own this as a pet. Okay, and then we have the flower wagon. This thing was actually really hard for me to get. I don't know why. They're just like a little like Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, let's keep scrolling up. I have a donut unicycle, a unicorn unicycle, which is really cool. I like these things. Oh no, let's drive off the- You guys didn't see that. I'm just gonna not pretend that I'm good at driving any of these things. Oh god, this is gonna be the worst one of all. The rocket sled, which is the fastest vehicle in Adopt Me. I am just gonna- Let's try not to crash. Okay, well, we might have gotten into an accident. You guys didn't see that either. Um, I can't- What do you mean I can't spawn a vehicle here? I'm on the bridge. Are you okay? Oh my god, Adopt Me is not okay right now. Okay, so it didn't let me spawn it on the bridge, but it lets me spawn- Okay, whatever. That's weird. I have a pumpkin carriage, which this used to be like one of my dream vehicles because it's like, you know, Halloween. Like, I don't know how many times I need to tell you guys that I love Halloween, but I do. We also have the ribcage carriage from, you know, this past year's Halloween. Like, and I'm really hoping they bring another spooky carriage. Maybe they'll bring like a ghost carriage or something. I don't know. As we go further up, I do have a mono moped. I think I actually am good at driving this one. Let's see if I'm wrong. So far, so good. Haven't crashed into anything. My favorite vehicle when I used to play on mobile was the hoverboard. Um, we do have the newer vehicles. Actually, do I even have all the new vehicles? I think I traded them all away. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so I have... Oh my god, why won't it let me spawn on the bridge? That's so suspicious activity. Okay, so we have this, like, Batmobile, the wing trunk car, which is a Batmobile. They just didn't want to say it. Dang it, that I'm not crashing into everything, but this is probably the coolest car out of the new, like, ultra vehicle pack. So if you guys haven't seen all the cars, this is the Magical Girl car next, which is actually super cute. I don't know what kind of vibes it gives me. Maybe, like, Powerpuff Girls or something. I don't know. This is, like, an adorable car. I can't remember what the third car was. Was it the... No, it's not the hover car. It was... Oh, it's this one. It's the bubble car. This is the last one. This one's really cool. This looks like a like a Tesla or like a futuristic Tesla. I like all the new supercars, even though I keep crashing them. You may think I don't care, but I really care. Anyways, yeah. So as far as older vehicles go, I do have the dogmobile. Then we have like the dino trucks, you know, the Douglas, a donut cycle. The cloud is my favorite because it leaves a rainbow trail. Like this cannot be matched. Okay. Anyways, just because it's like a cloud and it leaves a rainbow trail. Um, the bunny carriage, which is probably one of the oldest vehicles in Adopt Me. Also difficult to control. At least for me, difficult to control for me. I feel like everything is just difficult for me. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, and then we have the bathtub, which is, this is definitely up there on my top three favorite vehicles because I don't know how to explain it. It's just the fact that they made a bathtub a car. Like, I love that. There's no more explanation needed. It's a bathtub and it's a car and I love it. And then, you know, just the banana car and the axle, which, you know, these are just, everybody knows what those are. Those are like the old vehicles, choo-choo train, yada, yada, yada. So I showed you guys my favorites. I like the cloud. I like the carriages and I love the bathtub and the mono moped. All right, so let's head on over to food, which like isn't super exciting. I feel like some of this food is like from the grocery store that like doesn't exist anymore. Some of this stuff I know is rare. Like I know that these chocolate eggs and like this chocolate drop, I know that that's rare. I don't even know what it's from. The dim sum, I know that this is also rare. So is the cotton candy. That's from the fairground event. That's probably the only one I know anything about. Also the honey candy. So you're only supposed to be able to hold five honey candy at a time, but if somebody trades it to you, it lets you have more. I also have a snowflake potion, which I think is pretty cool. I like the way it looks in the inventory. I'm not gonna take it out. I'm definitely scared I'll use it. And then this patterns egg. I love this patterns egg. Fishy uses it in his like mega egg videos, and I just always wanted one ever since he started doing that. I want to get the stripes egg next. I don't have it, so if one of you guys have one for trade, let me know. I also have a heart potion. I have a couple water walking potions. I have a cure all potion, which I I think is really cool. I have a couple levitation potions, you know, these uh, left the, where is it? The levitation potions left the shop up here. So then they became like super rare for a while and people were offering like crazy stuff for 
for them. I do have a couple ride potions that I like to keep on deck to like give you guys when you try to give me cool stuff. And I have some healing apples in case Jack gets stinky. And some candy corn from the candy cannon. So yeah, to me, food is kind of like the boring item of Adopt Me. I mean, it is cool when you have like out of game, like older stuff like these things. But it's like I'm never gonna use them. I'm just gonna look at them. So, you know. And then guys, do I even have to say it? I have every stroller in Adopt Me. Come on, Jack. Come, come take a seat. Put, put the sock down, Jack. I don't think he's gonna put the sock down. He doesn't want to get in the- Jack, just get in the stroller! We have to get that thing away from him. How do I make Jack stop holding things? Isn't he supposed to, like, give it back to me? Oh my god, I threw it again. Wait, I think I figured it out. Now he is ready to be our stinky little stroller model, because he needs a little bath. But yeah, I like this lunar stroller. I'm just gonna take out the strollers that are, like, my favorite. The vampire stroller, I think that bat dragons look, like, the cutest in, because, you know, they're, like, a bat dragon, like, a vampire. His little vampire teeth. He's in his little vampire coffin, and it's just everything. Alright, what else do we have? We have the pumpkin stroller from this year. The quad stroller. This is like a super old stroller. This is really good when you're aging. If only Adopt Me would like make the doorways bigger because I feel like when I use this stroller or like any of my double strollers, like my heart stroller or something, which is also one of my very favorite strollers, it's like it doesn't let you go through like certain doorways. They need to fix that. They need to make their doorways way bigger. Eggbird stroller is probably the rarest stroller in Adopt Me. I think that it's worth like a frost dragon. I don't know if the value of it went up or down. Oh yeah, one of my other favorite strollers. I love the cradle stroller. Don't ask me why. I also like that like he faces you when he like sits in it. We have the cauldron stroller which I also love a lot. I don't know just I love spooky stuff. I love all these green little bubbles. And then here we go guys. If you saw my last video, the unicorn stroller is actually what began my stroller obsession. We have the reindeer stroller, the popsicle stroller which is actually Fishy's favorite stroller. And then we have the newest stroller addition to the gift rotation which is this loot stroller but my only other favorite stroller that I feel like is worth taking out is this half egg stroller this one was probably harder to get than like that egg bird stroller all right so next we're gonna go on to pet wear um I really don't know if there's anything special to go through here I realized by looking in my journal that I am actually missing some pet wear I did not know I was missing so much pet wear I mean I have all the legendary pet wear but yeah if you guys see anything like cool in this pet wear I don't know I stocked up on some pet wear because I thought that this stuff would be legendary or limited but it's not there are some items of petware that i love like you know the first ever items of petware were the elf hat and the santa hat there's a head chef and then there's a chef hat and i love both of them and then you know we have the growing flower now that we got in this new gift rotation but yeah i don't think that this is anything super special okay guys so i actually have a little surprise for the last portion of the video the pets i thought that it would be fun to go back in time to my instagram almost one year ago Ago, and this was my current pet inventory at the time. So I'm just gonna hit play. Actually, I'm gonna pause it. So just from right here, we can see that the only legendaries I really had was an Arctic reindeer, a neon dragon, you know, a couple golden pets. I had one kangaroo. Like, look at all this stuff I had. We're just gonna let it play. It's gonna scroll. My inventory wasn't that long. I had a neon unicorn that I made. I had a few Arctic foxes. Those were like my dream pets at the time. I had a no potion crocodile. I was really into making neon. I had one zombie buffalo, which was like my pride enjoy. I had a couple cows. I really wanted to make a neon cow. One hyena. I almost had enough for a neon reindeer. One rhino. Like, I had, like, one of stuff, you guys. I just wanted to try to get, like, every pet and adopt me just one of it. Look how short my inventory was. So now, I thought it would be fun to do, like, a comparison. I didn't have any of this. I had one arctic reindeer. Now I have a neon one. You know, um, his name is gift in Spanish, or, like, present because this was a gift to me from you-know-who, fishy blog. And then Fishy uh, also gave me this mega albino monkey. And I have a couple neon ones. I just think the pets that go full spectrum neon are the coolest. We're gonna go down this pretty easily. I have the axolotls. And as you guys know, I have all my bat dragons that are favorited. These are my babies. My collection hasn't grown in a while. In fact, I actually gave away one of my bat dragons to one of my kiddos because I thought that she really deserved it. So now we're down one bat dragon, but that's okay. He went to a very good and loving place. I have one named Christmas egg. I have a couple crows. One of them is no potion. I think this is the one that Fishy hatched in one of his videos. I have a mega Cerberus that I traded Fishy for. I have a couple other Cerberuses, but pets that are like Robux that are forever in game. I don't really see the need to get more of them. I have two diamond eggs because I used to have three, but I hatched it. I have a few diamond pets, but I have been trading my diamond pets like crazy. 
when I do my trading videos to you guys. I'm gonna try to go through this fast. I have a neon evil unicorn, which I think is really cool. I love that they're like spooky looking, even though they're not much different looking from like a regular evil unicorn. I have one farm egg. I'm gonna try not to hatch this, but I'll probably have to hatch it. As we keep going down, I am growing my frost dragon collection, or at least I'm trying to. I have two neon frosts. I never thought I would see the day when I had this many frost dragons in my inventory. You could have said to me, Brittany, you'll have this inventory one day. I would have said you are crazy. I do have quite a few frost fairies and neon frost fairies. I've been trading all the regular ones and I have a mega one. I also have a neon fly ride giraffe, which I think these are going down in value, but I remember when I first started playing Adopt Me, these were like one of the richest pets you could get. These were like up there with the shadow dragon. This is the one that I hatched in that video with Fishy. The one where like I did a noob account and we both hatched an egg and I actually got a legendary and he actually got like a wild boar. Okay, and then as we go down, you'll see all my golden pets. I, I have one jungle egg that for some reason is named like, where'd he go? To me, this says two centimeters. I don't know why somebody would have named an egg two centimeters. Don't ask me, ask them. We have a few neon kangaroos, which is cool. Like, remember, I had a one fly ride kangaroo. And now I have like all these kangaroos and three neons. It, I never would have thought that I would have been here. I have all these king monkeys. I have a neon king monkey, which I think this neon color of the king monkey is one of the coolest colors in Adopt Me. Okay, we have some ninja monkeys, neon ninja monkeys. We're just gonna keep scrolling, guys. I only have two owls. I don't know where the rest of them went. Probably traded them or gave them to Fishy because I know he loves them. We have two neon parrots. I actually love the neon parrots. I don't like the mega parrots. I think that they look better neon, honestly, because you get the red, yellow, blue. I'm all about them primary colors. We have the neon phoenix, which I think looks way better than the mega phoenix. And yes, I did name it Articuno after the Pokemon because does it not look like Articuno? Yeah, it looks way better than the Mega. And as you guys know, I have a Mega Shadow Dragon thanks to winning a contest by Mr. Guy and Candy. And yeah, we got some Neon Sharks, Skelly Rexes. Like, I'm not gonna go through everything, guys. I'll just let you look at it because this video is gonna be way too long. I will scroll through the whole thing, though. But I'm just trying to tell you guys, like, it is possible to grow your inventory to adopt me. I know that this is excessive and, like, this kind of seems unachievable. But regardless, if you just play and you trade and you save up your adopt me cash and you buy more eggs and you hatch and you just keep going like you can grow your inventory i never thought i would have this many pets let alone like you know two zombie buffaloes when all i used to have was one normal zombie buffalo i don't even have a normal one anymore i never even knew what a blue egg was didn't even know that existed remember i used to only have two cows well now i have three neon cows and a mega cow you know a lot of this is thanks to fishy helping me but also a lot of it is just i used to grind so hard and adopt me and i used to just make neons all the time so i could trade those neons for pets if i could get robux i would use the robux to buy fly and ride potions and i would trade those for pet look at all my bats this is all thanks to you guys you guys helped me get so many bats a lot of these will say like for brit or something i even have this neon fly ride blue dog from fishy which i think is one of the cutest pets that adopt me but yeah all i'm saying is guys don't give up like you will grow your inventory as long as you play that's all that it takes you know here's a neon silly duck which i think they're funny because they hop all it takes is just to not give up your inventory will eventually get bigger this was probably the first mega pet i ever made was an otter because it's common and it ages faster than the other pet and a mega otter is actually a really beautiful pet just ask leah ash so yeah as we get to the bottom here we're at the wolper tingers now and yeah that's my inventory hope you guys liked it and yeah jack wanted to say bye even though he's a little cranky <laughs>